hello to you. Welcome back to Haven Hill. I'm Meg and it is a Monday morning. You'll probably see this either Monday afternoon or Tuesday morning. But today I have lots of randomness on my schedule. But my first thing was to go check on my sheep. Yesterday, we think Tallulah had some bad hay. Although I see her sneezing. We, I actually had a little scare with her. You okay? Hey, girly, and she's buying. She's out of her shelter. Um, we couldn't get her out of her shelter and we had a hard time even getting her up. Which, if you're new to this channel, when we had our first two sheep, Winnie and Wonder, it happened with Winnie as well in the spring. I also thought maybe she grazed too much, but I don't think that's what it was. So anyway, hello lovelies. I think they're doing much, or she's doing much better today. Do you want to say good morning? Are you getting a sprawl? Oh, I like seeing you climb up there. Are you getting a spring cold? Come on lovelies. Let's come graze. Come on. <laughs> yesterday afternoon when we let her out of their paddock to graze. Um, when we're home right now, before the garden is all set, I am letting them graze all over um, when we're out with them and whatnot. Um, she finally, we got her up. She finally started um, walking out very slowly. Her head was kind of down, which is usually all of those things combined, but then the head down is, is a pretty telltale sign but she wouldn't eat anything. So I forced her to kind of walk around um, a little bit. And then a couple hours after that, after drinking some water, she came back out and she started grazing and then she grazed for quite a while. So I went and looked at her hay. That's the only thing I can come up with because you just, oh, it's just so hard to know. They can't communicate. So we just looked for signs. But anyway, she's grazing very well this morning. So my day today, I um, need to go water and actually fertilize my indoor plants. Indoor plants are a big deal to me. I forget about them this time of year, but in the winter time, I'm always so thankful for them. So I've noticed some definitely need just a little bit of food. Um, I had to do that. My son starts baseball today. We have baseball practice tonight. It's supposed to be a beautiful day. So I think I'm gonna pack a dinner if I can work ahead of time. Uh, pack a dinner and just go eat at the park while he's practicing. Um, my husband is helping coach that this year just a little bit. I have another son who needs to go get an outfit for prom. So I need to do that. Um, and my kitchen's a disaster just from Easter weekend and being in and out. So I'm just going to take you along on all the little things today. Um, Michigan, for those wondering, the Michigan video is coming. I totally forgot when I said, oh, it'll be out next week, that it was Easter week. So my goal is to have it out by the end of this week, beginning of next week. It's a lot of footage to go through, but I want to do it so bad because, oh, it was just such an amazing, amazing trip. So many of you have messaged me about that. It was just wonderful. So that is coming. weekend other than Easter which is my, one of my most favorite holidays that we celebrate um, we my husband and son one of my sons aerated all of our yard not not all the acreage but a lot of what we mow I planted my radishes we also um, rented a cod setter a cod setter a sod cutter for our new garden space because I'm trying so hard in the new space to do a test round. Um, our soil is quite compacted just from the horses that have been on it. Since we have a new garden space or two in their area, we decided to go ahead and let's just try to cut the sod, see what happens. So um, I will be planting out my cabbages probably in the next couple of days. I'm, they're pretty well hardened off. I hardened them off all last week. Now you'll be cutting, or I will be planting those this week. Um, I just saw the 10 day forecast for one day that is 30, the low is 31. We ha Our temperatures are getting really warm during the day. So 
I decided that was my answer. I'm not gonna do anything other, uh, anything crazy other than my cabbages and cold weather things. Um, and then, oh, what else? Um, yeah, I need to show you, I'll give you a tour of the greenhouse. I'm gonna do that this week too. Um, French bread dough yesterday because I thought I was going to need it for our Easter gathering and I ended up not eating it. So this morning I pulled it out of the refrigerator. I'm just going to let it, I just shaped it into my dough or into my loaves and now I'm going to let it just continue to rise and then I'll bake it off. And this is will be the bread today that we have when I make, um, it's okay buddy, <laughs> when I make our picnic. Okay, it's just a bit later and the bread just came out of the oven this is a french bread recipe that i have shared before in this space and the challenge is are we going to be able to make this not disappear before dinner tonight i'm going to try just a bit with herb butter so i don't usually refrigerate i didn't put quite enough um, flour on here i don't usually refrigerate the french bread recipe because we make it so um so quickly but let's try and see. It's just a really, really simple recipe that my grandma made for years and years and years. I didn't want to eat on camera. I just have to say the bread is absolutely delicious. So I'll post the, I will try to post the recipe down in the comment or in the um, description section again. Also herb butter is one of our family's most favorite things. It's such a great way to preserve herbs. Um, this is just randomness but because we're using i just used my last um, sticks of herb butter from last year so you just take butter and whatever herbs i have a recipe i'll post that as well and then you can freeze it and just as a, a ziploc bag and enjoy fresh herb butter or herbs or uh, butter made with fresh herbs at the time all winter long so i will be putting up tons more this year it's always really, really delicious. You can um, use it with your eggs and um, grilled cheese and all sorts of things as well. <laughs> we just finished up dishes and things inside and now we had to come outside to check out what spring things are growing and the kitties and the baby bunnies, <laughs> the Skittles. Cheap again because the kids told me they were both laying down after they got into a bit more hay. We're trying to discern what hay is what right now. Anyway, they're much, much better. They're up, we've been crazy. And then I have some, I have some kids inside doing school. I have some kids outside swinging and reading. I have some kids outside right now doing chalk and different things. So it is a beautiful, beautiful day. And I have to go um, run a few more errands or a couple of errands. And then we will, we will be back and we will head to baseball, right? Oh, and lots of laundry is going today, isn't it? You don't like Skittles. <laughs> he loves animals in theory. He loves talking about them and seeing them, but he does not. It's okay. What the, all of our animals that like people food, so the cats and the dogs pretty much. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> 
they always steal his food and I think I think she likes you but he gets quite frustrated On any given given day right now, we're getting anywhere between um, a dozen and a half and two and a half dozen eggs, which is lovely. That will fluctuate all year according to weather, too hot, too cold, all those different things. But right now, it feels wonderful. It is much later in the afternoon. I got back from shopping with my son for um, prom. He found a suit that looks lovely. Not lovely, handsome. And I'm getting ready. It is almost three o'clock. We have to leave here just in about an hour, hour and a half to take my son to baseball. And we decided, that, I think I said this earlier, but I don't actually recall. We're going to make a picnic dinner tonight and just go hang out while he practices. It's such a beautiful day today. Um, I've spent a lot of the afternoon out watching my sheep, um, watching them graze, watching them what they're e eating. In particular, Tallulah, I already mentioned this earlier. She's doing better than what she was last night, but then this afternoon she started acting slightly weird again. So um, I'm just watching her. She seems to be doing okay. She's eating, she's drinking, she's moving. Those are my big things right now. And I just have other things that I'm kind of watching for. However, before we leave and I pack dinner, I wanted to show you, I'm gonna, I just cut this box open. Uh, this is a package I've been waiting for. I am so excited. So um, if you are new in this space, I'm an artist at the heart of who I am. I just love art, whether it's in the garden, whether it's photographs, that's my medium that I do. Um, whether it's painting, I, I follow a lot of painters on purpose because I'm so inspired by them anyway. So there is a painter. Her name is Wendy Brightville. Um, she is, I will um, tag her below, but she's on, she might be on YouTube, but I follow her on Instagram and of course Etsy. Anyway, a while ago I ordered this. I, I have had this on my list for a while. I don't, I have a couple of spots. I'm not sure exactly where it's gonna go, so I'm gonna stay tuned for that, but this just came in. And I'm so excited. This right here is the reason why I keep my walls white or neutral at least. No, they're not all white. Oh, I don't want to take that off. It's just all plastic. This is an original painting by her. I will show you when it is up on the wall as well because you can't really see it. But like her markings, her markings are on here. Um, her paint strokes are on here. And I'm just so excited to get this up. My style, I've shared this before, is very much um, Bohemian Farmhouse are the, are the two words that always come, come to mind. I love old things, I love vintage things, I love antiques, but I also love the whole Bohemian element of things that are handmade, of things that have color, of things that have texture. So that's always what I'm looking for. And when I saw her list this, I jumped on it because I am so, so excited to have some of her artwork up on my wall. So anyway, I had to share that with you today because it literally came in less than five minutes ago. Okay, but one other thing that I had to do that I almost forgot about before when we had to the um, baseball practice is I wanted to get um, a couple loaves of sourdough bread going um, because when I was at the Amish Apostolic Christian Market the other day, um, they had a really good price on rye flour. So I wanted to try that. So I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna start off by doing half and half. Um, half rye flour, half, um, this, I'm just adding my salt right now. Half rye flour, half regular, and just see how it tastes. I wanna start introducing other flours that are just a little bit more complex, add a little bit of a different flavor. So that is the other thing that I am doing. Um, this afternoon before we, oh, it's okay, just a second. It's okay, you just have to go ask her before we hit the baseball.
So I just added to all of my sourdough um, mixture by water, my salt, I added 500 grams of regular flour, just a, a white flour, and 500 grams of a rye. So stay tuned. I'm not, I don't, this will not be on this video how it turns out, but I will definitely report back to you how it tastes. I'm really excited to, uh, the other thing I almost forgot to say is I'm actually feeding my starter with the rye flour as well because I'm I've done it with other einkorn flours. If my if my flour, especially particularly like in the winter time, if it gets a little blah, or I'm sorry, not my flour, if my starter gets a little blah, I like just kind of changing it up with a little bit of a different um, feeding it with a different flour and it's responded really well. So I'm just gonna try one time just feeding it with a, a medium rye flour and see how it goes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. My daughter Willow is packing dinner for us. We're just packing the um, bread that I made, that I or that I baked off this morning with some meat and cheese, oranges, chips, just things that we have that are really simple. Um, and then we are gonna head off to baseball with my son. So I hope you guys are all doing well on this beautiful day and we will catch you next time on the vlog. So. Have a great one. Thanks for joining us. See you later. Hi, buddy. What you doing? You coming to say hi to your sheep? Yeah. <laughs>